What's up everybody, I'm Puma Pete of Friendly Fire Co-op and today I'm going to show you how to complete the Shipless Sailors quest in Divinity Original Sin. Now you can start this quest immediately after doing the Fire 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 quest. Uh, you run south onto the docks where you'll find three sailors uh, and you'll find out that they are out of work now that their ship is burned and they're looking for a job. So it is your job to find them, uh, said job. Um, this is a shorter quest and it's one that you can do really early in the game. Uh, I just figured that uh, after the last couple uh, lengthier quest guides, it may not hurt to do a shorter one. Uh, this is also one that has multiple different paths, and it's also one that may be a little tricky to find if you're kind of not as familiar with it. I actually didn't even know about this uh, on my first playthrough through the game. I didn't find it until uh, much later. So, um, pretty simple quest to complete. There's no combat to this, just running around and finding the right people to talk to. But uh, nonetheless, is a good way to get experience early game and also... Um, yeah, you know, pretty easy to complete, so there's no reason not to do it. So you're gonna want to run up the steps to, like, upper the upper portion of Cecile, and from here there are multiple paths that you can take, and I'm gonna show two of them, and I'm going to theorize on a third one, which I'll explain after I do the first two. Although immediately I don't know if the third one works for sure. So if you run into the Cecile Marketplace, you can find Captain Jack, and um, if you talk to Captain Jack, there he is in on the map, by the way. Uh, if you did not follow the run, um, you can ask him if he has use for three sailors. You find out that he does, and that'll update your quest log. At this point, you're welcome to go back to the sailors and let them know about Captain Jack. Uh, that's the end of that. But uh, another option is to talk to Mendius, who is the fabulous five recruiter, and you can tell, you can ask him about if he needs help for sailors, and he'll tell you that if you do recruit the sailors, you get. Uh, like half of what they make or something along that because the Fabulous Five is essentially just a giant pyramid scheme. At this point, I'm going to head back with two options, uh, you know, in store for the sailors. I suspect if you talk to Captain Arius and ask him if he needs sailors, he may need them because he is the Legionnaire captain. Although, admittedly, that's mostly just speculation. Uh, if anyone could confirm or deny that for me, that'd be awesome. But uh, I suspect, I mean, to me, logically, it makes sense that the Legionnaires may need a couple sailors. I don't know for sure. Um, that may be uh, just lies and slander. Uh, if it is, I apologize, but I did show you two ways to do it, so, you know, can't be too mad at me, right? But at this point, you can just run back down the stairs into the docks, just a short little run. I'm not going to bother cutting this out because overall it's a pretty short video in general. And as I said, you can do it uh, nice and early to get some XP. But run down here, run onto the docks, and you're going to be presented with, depending on how many options you have like figured out as to where they can go. You're going to be presented with all those different options to tell the sailors which one to do. Um, as far as I know, picking any of the options will end the quest. I've never actually sent them to the Fabulous Five because I feel guilty about it. Uh, but if you send them to Captain Jack, it will definitely end it. I suspect if you send them to the Fabulous Five, it will also end it. Although, admittedly, I don't know that with any certainty. I send them to Captain Jack here because, to me, it makes sense that a pirate ship captain would need sailors. And I'm just too nice of a guy to send them to the Fabulous Five, who I don't particularly care for. But there you go. Uh, that quest is completed, nice and simple. Uh, again, I would like to take this time to remind you that because Divinity Original Sin is an open world game, there are multiple ways to complete each quest, as I've kind of demonstrated in this video. And there may be even more ways to complete this quest. Uh, if anyone knows any, feel free to tell me. Uh, I would be happy to know and possibly make a guide about those. Uh, remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more daily Divinity Original Sin videos and quest guides. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.